Hello Plenty Mashers and welcome back to the channel. So for the last few days of May I actually created a little setup and was planning with a B6 journal. So I thought I'll share with you this plan with me and talk a little bit on some pros and cons of using a B6 journal for your planning. If you're new here, my name is Masha and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, creativity. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Okay, let's get to it. We are starting with the supplies. I'm using this tiny Archer and Olive journal, some acrylograph pens, washi tapes, um, some fine liners, stencils, everything as always will be linked in the description. Okay, so first we are creating two pages that are not very necessary but are super fun to make. It's a little quote and a cover page. Again, I could have skipped that, but with a new journal, I felt like, first of all, I want to do something creative to kind of wake up this side of me. And secondly, I like doing that in every new journal because it kind of helps to set the tone and the intentions with the journal. So here is a little story on why I decided to switch to this one. May was mentally really challenging month for me and I did not use my bullet journal at all. So the whole month I did no planning, nothing, and I really felt it. I felt so disorganized, uh, things were just not done, and as the end of the month approached, it was kind of a wake-up call for me, because I was like, well, it's the end of May and I haven't done anything, so hello, let's do something. And so I felt like I was a little bit stuck and I decided, well, maybe if I try a new journal, a new format, it's kind of gonna help me to get out of that limbo and back on track with my planning and creativity and just feeling better. And to be honest, it did work out. Uh, having like a new size of a journal and working with acrylographs again, which I haven't done for a while, it really helped me to get back into this creative mindset and to start want to go back to bullet journaling again. And thanks to this little guy, I actually created like one of my favorite themes for June and uh, had a lot of fun doing that. And well, now it's mid-June. And I can tell you, I am being productive. I'm using my journal. It's been super fun. I am achieving my goals this month. And all of that is thanks to this little guy. So these two pages are my monthly log and my weekly spread. So we're starting with a monthly log and as I said, I started this journal just a few days uh, before the end of the month. So it's not like I actually needed a full on monthly log, but I wanted to have a little space where I can write whatever deadlines and important dates I have and where I can just dump all the tasks. I have to complete before the end of the month. And yes, I know that it's a dump instead of dump, but that's something that happens to me personally all the time. And also that's because when you do for calligraphy, you more like draw the letters rather than write them. So errors like this are more common. So the next one is a weekly spread. And here's the thing, this journal is tiny. So it's not like I can actually fit everything I have to do in this one page weekly spread. Actually, for this journal, I ended up planning with daily spreads, but I still like to have a weekly overview. 
So here I can write all my deadlines, any meetings I have, and I'm also adding here a habit tracker because there are some habits I wanted to go back to and there was no reason to create like a huge habit tracker because again, it's just a few days until the end of the month. So I created this tiny one and it worked very well. And I must say, I had this beautiful view of little circles for every habit, but that was a mistake. It was very difficult to keep the circles straight and it took forever to draw them. So definitely do not recommend this technique. So as I said, my planning was about using daily spreads. So I did here my water consumption, an area for my mood, special area for most important tasks. And the rest of the page was kind of like whatever I had to do that day. And I also ended up doing a little bit of reflective journaling. This journal was great. It's really easy to carry it with you. It's easy to set up because the pages are much smaller, but I don't think I would ever switch to this journal as my main one because usually I do need much more space. Let me know in the comments if you would use this size for your day-to-day -day planning and I'll see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!